Good morning, family, and thank you so much for joining us for this week's scripture reading. And this week we'll be reading from Numbers chapter 16, verse 1, through chapter 18, verse 32, 1 Samuel chapter 11, verse 14, through chapter 12, verse 22, and Romans chapter 13, verses 1 through 7. Now Korah, the son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab and On, the sons of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men. And they rose up before Moshe with certain of the children of Yasarel, two hundred and fifty princes of the assembly, famous in the congregation, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moshe and against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and Yahuwah is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of Yahuwah. And when Moshe heard it, he fell upon his face. And he spake unto Korah and unto all his company, saying, even tomorrow Yahuwah will show who are his and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him. Even him whom he hath chosen will he cause to come near unto him. This do, take you censers, Korah, and all his company, and put fire therein, and put incense in them before Yahuwah tomorrow. And it shall be that the man whom Yahuwah doth choose, he shall be holy. Ye take too much upon you, you sons of Levi. And Moshe said unto Korah, Here I pray you, you sons of Levi, seemeth it but a small thing unto you, that the Elohim of Yasharel hath separated you from the congregation of Yasharel, to bring you near to himself, to do the service of the tabernacle of Yahuwah, and to stand before the congregation to minister unto them. And he hath brought thee near to him, and all thy brethren, the sons of Levi, with thee, and seek ye the priesthood also. For which cause both thou and all thy company are gathered together against Yahuwah? And what is Aaron? that you murmur against him. And Moshe sent to call Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, which said, We will not come up. Is it a small thing that thou hast brought us up out of the land that floweth with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness, except thou make thyself altogether a prince over us? Moreover, thou hast not brought us into a land that floweth with milk and honey, or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards, wilt thou put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. And Moshe was very wroth, and said unto Yahuwah, Respect not thou their offering. I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt one of them. And Moshe said unto Korah, Be thou, and all thy company before Yahuwah, thou, and they, and Aaron, tomorrow. And take every man his censer, and put incense in them. And bring ye before Yahuwah every man his censer, two hundred and fifty censers, thou also, and Aaron, each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer, and put fire in them, and laid incense thereon, and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, with Moshe and Aaron. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the glory of Yahuwah appeared unto all the congregation. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe and unto Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O Elohim, the Elohim of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, 
And wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Moshe rose up and went unto Dathan and Abiram, and the elders of Yasharel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram on every side. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents and their wives and their sons and their little children. And Moshe said, Hereby ye shall know that Yahuwah hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of mine own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then Yahuwah hath not sent me. But if Yahuwah make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked Yahuwah. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and all the men that are pertained unto Korah and all their goods. They and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed upon them and they perished from among the congregation. And all Yasharal that were round about them fled at the cry of them, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us also. And there came out a fire from Yahuwah and consumed the two hundred and fifty men that offered incense. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning, and scatter thou the fire yonder, for they are hollowed. The censers of these sinners against their own souls, let them make them broad plates for a covering of the altar, for they offered them before Yahuwah, therefore they are hollowed, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Yasharel. And Eleazar the priest took the brazen censers wherewith they that were burnt had offered, and they were made broad plates for a covering of the altar, to be a memorial unto the children of Yasharel, that no stranger, which is not of the seed of Aaron, come near to offer incense before Yahuwah, that he be not as Korah, and as his company, as Yahuwah said to him by the hand of Moshe. But on the morrow all the congregation of the children of Yasharel murmured against Moshe and against Aaron, saying, Ye have killed the people of Yahuwah. And it came to pass, when the congregation was gathered against Moshe and against Aaron, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the congregation, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of Yahuwah appeared. And Moshe and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, Get you up from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Moshe said unto Aaron, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly unto the congregation, and make an atonement for them. For there is wrath gone out from Yahuwah, the plague is begun. And Aaron took as Moshe commanded, and ran into the midst of the congregation, and behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put on the incense and made an atonement for the people, and he stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were fourteen thousand and seven hundred, beside them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Moshe unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the plague was stayed. 
And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharel, and take of every one of them a rod according to the house of their fathers, of all their princes according to the house of their fathers twelve rods. Write thou every man's name upon his rod, and thou shalt write Aaron's name upon the rod for Levi, for one rod shall be for the head of the house of their fathers. And thou shalt lay them up in the tabernacle of the congregation before the testimony where I will meet with you. And it shall come to pass that the man's rod, whom I shall choose, shall blossom, and I will make to cease from me the murmurings of the children of Yasharel, whereby they murmur against you. And Moshe spake unto the children of Yasharel, and every one of their princes gave him a rod apiece, for each prince one, according to their father's houses, even twelve rods, and the rod of Aaron was among their rods. And Moshe laid up the rods before Yahuwah in the tabernacle of witness. And it came to pass that on the morrow Moshe went into the tabernacle of witness, and behold, the rod of Aaron for the house of Levi was budded, and brought forth buds, and bloomed blossoms, and yielded almonds. And Moshe brought out all the rods before Yahuwah unto all the children of Yasharel, and they looked, and took every man his rod. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Bring Aaron's rod again before the testimony, to be kept for a token against the rebels and thou shalt quite take away their murmurings from me, that they die not. And Moshe did so, as Yahuwah commanded him, so did he. And the children of Yasharel spake unto Moshe, saying, Behold, we die, we perish, we all perish. Whosoever cometh anything near unto the tabernacle of Yahuwah shall die. Shall we be consumed with dying? And Yahuwah said unto Aaron, Thou and thy sons and thy father's house with thee shall bear the iniquity of the sanctuary, and thou and thy sons with thee shall bear the iniquity of your priesthood. And thy brethren also of the tribe of Levi, the tribe of thy father, bring thou with thee, that they may be joined unto thee and minister unto thee. But thou and thy sons with thee shall minister before the tabernacle of witness, and they shall keep thy charge, and the charge of all the tabernacle, only they shall not come nigh the vessels of the sanctuary and the altar, that neither they nor ye also die. And they shall be joined unto thee, and keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation, for all the service of the tabernacle, and of stranger shall not come nigh unto you. And ye shall keep the charge of the sanctuary and the charge of the altar, that there be no wrath any more upon the children of Yasharel. And I, behold, I have taken your brethren, the Levites, from among the children of Yasharel. To you they are given as a gift for Yahuwah, to do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Therefore thou and thy sons with thee shall keep your priest's office for everything of the altar and within the veil, and ye shall serve. I have given your priest's office unto you as a service of gift, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And Yahuwah spake unto Aaron, Behold, I also have given thee the charge of mine heave offerings of all the hallowed things of the children of Yasharel unto thee, have I given them by reason of the anointing, and to thy sons by an ordinance forever. This shall be thine of the most holy things, reserved from the fire. Every oblation of theirs, every meat offering of theirs, every sin offering of theirs, every trespass offering of theirs, which they shall render unto me, shall be most holy for thee and for thy sons. In the most holy place thou shalt eat it, Every male shall eat it, it shall be holy unto thee. And this is thine, the heave offering of their gift, 
with all the wave offerings of the children of Yashrael, I have given them unto thee, and to thy sons, and to thy daughters with thee, by a statute forever. Every one that is clean in thine house shall eat of it. All the best of the oil, all the best of the wine, and of the wheat, the first fruits of them which they offer unto Yahuwah, them have I given thee. And whatsoever is first ripe in the land, which they shall bring unto Yahuwah, shall be thine. Every one that is clean in thine house shall eat of it. Everything devoted in Yashalel shall be thine. Everything that openeth the matrix in all flesh, which they bring unto Yahuwah, whether it be of men or beasts, shall be thine. Nevertheless, the firstborn of men thou shalt surely redeem, and the firstling of unclean beasts shalt thou redeem. And those that are to be redeemed from a month old shalt thou redeem according to thine estimation for the money of five shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary, which is twenty geras. But the firstling of a cow, or the firstling of a sheep, or the firstling of a goat, thou shalt not redeem, they are holy. Thou shalt sprinkle their blood upon the altar, and shall burn their fat for an offering made by fire, for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. And the flesh of them shall be thine, as the wave breast and as the right shoulder are thine. All the heave offerings of the holy things, which the children of Yashalel offer unto Yahuwah, have I given thee, and thy sons and thy daughters with thee, by a statute forever. It is a covenant of salt forever before Yahuwah unto thee, and to thy seed with thee. And Yahuwah spake unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land, neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am thy part, and thine inheritance among the children of Yashalel. And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in Yashalel for an inheritance, for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Neither must the children of Yashalel henceforth come nigh the tabernacle of the congregation, lest they bear sin and die. But the Levites shall do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations, that among the children of Yasharel they have no inheritance. But the tithes of the children of Yasharel, which they offer as an heap offering unto Yahuwah, I have given to the Levites to inherit. Therefore I have said unto them, Among the children of Yasharel, they shall have no inheritance. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, Thus speak unto the Levites, and say unto them, When ye take of the children of Yasharel the tithes which I have given you from them for your inheritance, then ye shall offer up an heave offering of it for Yahuwah, even a tenth part of the tithe. And this your heave offering shall be reckoned unto you as though it were the corn of the threshing floor and as the fullness of the wine press. Thus ye also shall offer an heave offering unto Yahuwah of all your tithes which ye receive of the children of Yasharel, and ye shall give thereof Yahuwah's heave offering to Aaron the priest. Out of all your gifts ye shall offer every heap offering of Yahuwah, of all the best thereof, even the hollowed part thereof out of it. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, When you have heaved the best thereof from it, then it shall be counted unto the Levites as the increase of the threshing floor, and as the increase of the winepress. And ye shall eat it in every place, ye in your households, for it is your reward for your service in the tabernacle of the congregation. And ye shall bear no sin by reason of it, when you have heaved from it the best of it, neither shall ye pollute the holy things of the children of Yasharel, lest ye die. 1 Samuel chapter 11 verse 14 Then said Samuel to the people, Come, and let us go to Gilgal, and renew the kingdom there. And all the people went to Gilgal, and there they made Saul, king before Yahuwah in Gilgal. 
and there they sacrificed sacrifices of peace offerings before Yahuwah. And there Saul and all the men of Yasharel rejoiced greatly. And Samuel said unto all Yasharel, Behold, I have hearkened unto your voice in all that ye said unto me, and have made a king over you. And now, behold, the king walketh before you, and I am old and gray-headed, and behold, my sons are with you, and I have walked before you from my childhood unto this day. Behold, here I am. Witness against me before Yahuwah and before his anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Or whose ass have I taken? Or whom have I defrauded? Whom have I oppressed? Or of whose hand have I received any bribe to blind mine eyes therewith? And I will restore it you. And they said, Thou hast not defrauded us, nor oppressed us, neither hast thou taken aught of any man's hand. And he said unto them, Yahuwah is witness against you, and his anointed is witness this day, that ye have not found aught in mine hand. And they answered, He is witness. And Samuel said unto the people, It is Yahuwah that advanced Moshe and Aaron, and that brought your fathers up out of the land of Egypt. Now therefore stand still, that I may reason with you before Yahuwah of all the righteous acts of Yahuwah, which he did to you and to your fathers. When Yaakov was come into Egypt, and your fathers cried unto Yahuwah, then Yahuwah sent Moshe, and Aaron, which brought forth your fathers out of Egypt, and made them dwell in this place. And when they forgot Yahuwah their Elohim, he sold them into the hand of Sisera, captain of the hosts of Hazor, into the hand of the Philistines, and into the hand of the king of Moab, and they fought against them. And they cried unto Yahuwah, and said, We have sinned, because we have forsaken Yahuwah, and have served Balim and Ashtaroth. But now deliver us out of the hand of our enemies, and we will serve thee. And Yahuwah sent Yarubabal, and Bedon, and Jephthah, and Samuel, and delivered you out of the hand of your enemies on every side, and you dwelled safe. And when you saw that Nahash, the king of the children of Ammon, came against you, you said unto me, Nay, but a king shall reign over us, when Yahuwah, your Elohim, was your king. Now therefore, behold, the king whom you have chosen, whom ye have desired, and behold, Yahuwah hath set a king over you. If you will fear Yahuwah and serve him and obey his voice and not rebel against the commandment of Yahuwah, then shall both ye and also the king that reigneth over you continue following Yahuwah your Elohim. But if ye will not obey the voice of Yahuwah, but rebel against the commandment of Yahuwah, then shall the hand of Yahuwah be against you, as it was against your fathers. Now therefore stand, and see this great thing, which Yahuwah will do before your eyes. Is it not wheat harvest today? I will call unto Yahuwah, and he shall send thunder and rain, that you may perceive and see that your wickedness is great, which you have done in the sight of Yahuwah, in asking you a king. So Samuel called unto Yahuwah, and Yahuwah sent thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared Yahuwah and Samuel. And all the people said unto Samuel, Pray for thy servants unto Yahuwah thy Elohim, that we die not, for we have added unto all our sins this evil, to ask us a king. And Samuel said unto the people, Fear not, ye have done all this wickedness, yet turn not aside from following Yahuwah, but serve Yahuwah with all your heart, and turn ye not aside, for then should ye go after vain things, which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain. For Yahuwah will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased Yahuwah to make you his people. Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Elohim. The powers that be are ordained of Elohim. 
Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of Elohim. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of Elohim to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of Elohim, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore you must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are Elohim's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Thank you so much for joining us. Shabbat Shalom.